The following is a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about them, Cowboys? Yeah! Field, exploding down the sideline. This is Hanging with the Boys, presented by Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. Now, your hosts, Nate Newton, Kurt Daniels, Jesse Holly, and Shannon Gross. Fan Fun Phone Friday, 888-855-2297. And in case you want to text us, Chris, watch the text line, 817-290-3298. You're looking live at Tostitos Championship Plaza outside Ford Center at the Star in Frisco, where it is 93 degrees. It feels like 97. The high today is 95. The low tonight is 77. He is Shannon. That's Nate. He is Kurt. I am Zaddy Holly on this wonderful Friday. (laughs) Together we make Hanging with the Boys, the sports talk equivalent of Braille. People feel feel us. us. When we speak. All right. We're going to kick it off on a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> we finally got it right. It took us mm-hmm. about four times. Hey, hey, good. hey. We're we good. first started we're it. We used to body blow folks to death. <laughs> they have no other choice. We jiving. We jiving. <laughs> yeah. How you guys doing? Let's start Let's start on an upbeat note because we know that we're going to bring everybody down for uh, you are, part of me. a segment. Um, how are you today, Kurt? Good. Ready for the weekend. Ready for the weekend. Nice. Jesse? Great. Great. Yep. Nate? Great. <laughs> Deep breath. Woosah. I'm good. You good? <laughs> Chris, how are you today? Wonderful. Thank the, you. The man behind the curtain. All right. I'm doing great. You? Thanks for asking. Yes, I'm good. I'm good. It's Friday. It's football Friday. Is it Weather's payday nice. for anybody? Oh. Uh, the accounting. So. The movie. The accounting. That, that's you guys get paid this shirt. week? Is it every other Friday? Um, I don't remember now. That's how you know you got too much money. No. That's how you know you got a lot of money. You got to think about it. That's how you know you got a lot of money. When you don't know when the checks come. When you ain't watching. Yeah. I agree with that. It'll get here when it gets here. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to my boy Big Rob and accountant. Yeah. Yeah. Kurt Rich. I wish. (laughs) Rob? How are you, Rob? Hope you're listening. Hi, Miss Kay. How are you? I know you're listening. All right, fellas. The season is not over. That's just my opinion. Everybody that was sending me DMs and texting me, we good. I feel Mm -hmm. terrible for Trayvon Diggs. Mm -hmm. I feel awful for him, for his family, because you guys know that road to recovery is not easy. It takes dedication. It it mentally, I'm sure it just wipes you out. And and for him as a – the game of football is a very – unforgiving, uncaring game. And at any time, this is why I don't ever have a problem with the player holding out or a player trying to get his money because you never know. Like, who knows what recovery is going to be, how long it's going to take, if you ever get back to where you – if you ever play football, you know, with an injury. So I don't ever have a problem with the player holding out, trying to get more money, doing whatever they can because nothing's guaranteed in this league. They don't guarantee contracts. Something like this happens and your income stops. you 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 could this could be your last down, right? So And what people also don't realize about contracts, like there are two kind of A and B sides to every contract. There is an active, you're healthy playing, we're paying contract. Mm-hmm. Within that same contract, there's also a injury, you're no longer playing, a different number we're paying contract. All under the same roof, but there's people don't realize at times there is an injury part to your contract. That lowers your pay that during lowers, that time? Yeah, yeah. However long that yeah. time is. Depending on the player. Yes, yeah. sir. And you know how it is. I mean, you, you, you live your lifestyle up to your income. That's everyday life, even if you're not an athlete. Like, you adjust your lifestyle and your Correct. family's lifestyle yep. and where you live and how you live. And when you take a hit like that, even if you're making a lot of money, that's still a that's still a big deal, you know. Mm-hmm. So for the person, I feel awful. Um, as far as the team, I feel like we talked about it yesterday. I think any other season, I would have my head down and I would be like, <laughs> "Oh no, here we go again." Mm-hmm. And I want to know how you guys feel because we haven't talked about this. I feel okay. I feel good with Deron Bland. I feel. Good with Jordan Lewis. I feel good with the depth. I I mean, I'd feel I don't feel doom and gloom today. I hate it for Trayvon. I hate it. Get well soon, Trayvon. But as far as a team and my fandom, I'm I am we good. How do you feel, Nate? 
Oh, oh, oh okay. Well, Jesse, you rub it off on me. I know. I long, <laughs> as long as I've ever talked on this show. <laughs> no, I'm great. Yeah, I called you yesterday right away. I, yeah. I, I'm, I, once we she got past. She, he ain't called us, Kurt. Hmm. No, 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 I sure didn't. Continue. I, I, continue. He wanted to respond. Continue. Continue. Respond. With I sure didn't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I sure didn't. And you already said. He called his boy. There you go. Look, he he already his, said. Man, get to your point, this, man. Uh, this dude know, already we said. Know. This dude already said that. If I don't he ain't going to answer the phone if I ain't got 30 minutes. minutes. Yeah. If I got 25, 30 minutes, I don't yeah. answer the phone for but that. But anyway, <laughs> I'm good. Once we got past his family, the kid, uh, Mr. Jones, all of that, the team, I'm good. We are good. That team over there should be solid and good. I am great. Thank you. Kurt? Yeah, I agree. I think there's enough depth there. Bland's been shown he can play well and see him step up on the outside. Thank you for late. Thankfully, Jordan Lewis came back. Mm -hmm. He can help you on the inside. Man, as long as that defensive line is doing their thing, yeah. I think they'll be okay. All right, voice of reason. Here we go. Bring, bring us to church. Which <laughs> no. way are we going with this? <laughs> we are more than good. All right. Uh, we are like more it. than good. Let's go. Yeah. We All are right. more than good. Like, when this happened, like you, like you, like you, I felt bad for the player. I did. I was like, yeah. damn. Ah. And, he, you know, two weeks in, he was he had a great start to the season, mm -hmm. right? And, 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 Trayvon is is one of the leaders of this team. Great player, and I, and it sucks for him. Football is a one hundred percent hurt business. Mm -hmm. it, it is just is, and that's that that's the thing that you go with every single day. Um, and for those who are wondering, it happened on grass. Didn't happen mm -hmm. on turf. Do we yeah. know exactly what happened? Have they? He was. Uh, yeah. So the story, the the report is that he, they were doing one on ones, mm -hmm. and he went up to contest the ball, came down, just didn't land correctly. Mm -hmm. mm. And it happens. Mm. It, it, it happens. Those things happen um, every day. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure he's had 10, 12, 15, 20 other plays where he, lo he landed more awkwardly. And just sometimes the right force, the right tension, the right torque, the right turn, or the wrong, I should say. And here we are. Um, but I am so confident. I, I have not. We lived through the Sean Lee era, right? Mm -hmm. Where when Sean Lee went down, this Season's thing over. went to crap. Yep. Uh, yep. It was over. This team is built different. Shout out to Will McClay. Uh, shout out to 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 Dan Quinn. Just the depth of this football team, both offensively, differently, defensively, has set themselves up for moments like this. Do you replace Trayvon Diggs? No. You're never going to be able to replace him. Do you adjust to him? Absolutely. And I think this team has more than enough to address. You know, I told, I told someone the other day, Deron Bland had more interceptions last year than Trayvon Diggs. Yeah. He led this team in interceptions. You, you're not losing a ball hawk. Yeah. Deron Bland is as ball hawkish as, Tra as Trayvon Diggs. I like, heard a stat, and I don't know if it's true, I didn't look it up, but I heard a stat that Trayvon Diggs leads the league in interceptions since he came into the league. That's true. And so does Deron Bland. The same time, oh. <laughs> so he's been in, he's been in the league what a year? This is yeah, year two yeah. for him. Year two for him. Yeah. He leads the league. So so I mean, you're not missing any of that. You're not missing size. They're both relatively the same size. Trayvon Diggs is six foot one. Uh, um, uh, Deron Bland is six foot. Trayvon's one ninety five. Deron Bland's about two hundred pounds. You're, you're not missing a lot. You still you still have the athleticism. You still have all those things. Now I get it. You're, you're talking about a guy who was first team All Pro, right? In most teams in the National Football League don't have two former first-team All-Pros mm -hmm. on their roster. Mm -hmm. I, I, I asked the fans the other day, name me the starting cornerbacks of the Kansas City Chiefs. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I'll wait. Because <laughs> most people can't. We, yeah. We've had the luxury of having these type of players on our roster. Now, the only place that we do have to worry about now is, because I do think Deron Bland steps in, we won't miss a beat. Jordan Lewis is fine. You know, great call by Britt Brown and company to say, you know what, don't put this guy on, on, on IR. We may need him. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. We need you. Where it can get a little bit dicey is if we can't protect or if we have one, if we have another injury in the secondary, that's going to hurt us. Yep. Yeah. Um, two, it's never the, the backup guy. It's the, the backup to the backup guy. Right, so so now who steps in for Deron Bland mm -hmm. in those right. moments? Mm -hmm. And you hope that it's Jordan Lewis and you know any anything like that. So teams don't can't pick on a, a particular guy in the secondary. But this team is fine, fellas. 
I trust Dan Quinn. And when you lose a player like this, one of the great things that we have in Dan Quinn is we have a coach who is one of the best at not only evaluating talent, growing talent, putting talent in the proper place, but also scheming up plans to protect and, and, and to elevate the things that are your strengths. This pass rush ain't going nowhere. Michael Parsons ain't going nowhere. We still have the best three-headed monster in the secondary in the, in the safety. We get Donovan Wilson back, J. Ron Curse, and Malik Hooker. Stephon Gilmore is still in there. Now he had to step up and play in that role. We are fine. We are fine. This thing is going to keep the, – the, the loss is more manhole than Grand Canyon. Like, just think of that way. It, it, ain't, it ain't a Grand Canyon type of loss. It's a loss – but I, with everything else that's surrounded it with this thing, this is this is fine. We're going to be okay. Sucks for Trayvon Diggs. This defense will not miss a beat. Hmm. But I tell you what, what scared me more than that because I called him back two seconds later when I got worried it'd be out of shape. That scared because, uh, like you different. said, the backup to the backup yeah. mm-hmm. scared me to die. Like he like you call him. I like yeah, bro. It's we got a bigger problem, and and I'm not downplaying how great this kid is over there on defense. But boy, we can't lose Biotis, y'all. No, I'm telling you now. Trust me when it's I the depth there. What's we, his update? Do we have an update? Saturday, they're gonna him and Martin are both gonna try to go Saturday, and that'll determine that right mm. there. Now that's a different story. Yes, sir. that worries me. Yeah. yeah, to lose to might not have Martin and and Biotis. And even, I think, even with Jags, even with just guys over there, right. they're still, <laughs> still. I knew still. I, I wonder how long that was going to be before you took that shot. You know I was. You know I was. And I mean, you know it was coming. I think for us to be having <laughs> this this conversation is a testament. Yeah, he, he had hit the Jag shot. <laughs> is a testament to like we talked about. You know. Is this team a legit contender? And yeah, we think they are. Still a legit contender. Exactly. Right. So, Doesn't change. Which makes me think this really is a contender because in years past, I know I'm living in the past, Nate, but that's sorry, all I sorry, know. Sorry, no, but you call it good That's pass. all now, I you know. You good pack, are we? Is this oh. would be devastating and it would be like, oh my God, who do we have over? What are we going to do? Right. They're going to go at him every game and like, we're good. And you know what? I'm excited. What's the young guy's name that had a great camp? Bar, uh, Scott Jr.? Eric Scott Jr. Eric Scott, yeah. Hey, injury. Injury creates opportunity, Absolutely. right? Step up. Let's go see what we got. Maybe we, you know, in Deron Bland, maybe you have the next Trayvon Diggs. Oh, Jags, know? man. I mean, he's maybe a good TV series, but boy, you just don't want to be that. <laughs> you just don't want to be old Jag, man. Is there anybody? Is there anybody on this team? And I think you could probably put Micah in this conversation. Maybe Dak. That. If they go down like years past, you're like, that's it. We're yeah, done. You, you, I'm you telling you right now. Named them, but. You just named them. <laughs> One or two of those guys go down. Yeah. This conversation I'm having today, yeah. different. Yeah. It's it's doom and gloom for me. You I lose, don't know, man. You lose I four. No, no, I don't know. No, stop. You, no, stop. you stop, man. Stop. Stop. You, you have your opinion. Stop. I have mine. And I just believe if one of those go, guys go down, we just need to cancel the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll go on our first break. When we come back, phone calls, 888 855 We'll be right back on Hanging with the Boys. <laughs> Fall is here, and that means football is back, bringing all the delicious game day foods with it. As you prep for all the big games, tailgates, and watch parties, let Yokiero be your one-stop destination for all things home-gating. Yokiero's fresh, flavorful, ready-to-serve guacamole made with real Hass avocados will score taste bud touchdowns as you cheer on the Cowboys. Yokiero's wide range of mouth-watering and versatile products can be found in your local grocery store's produce or deli section. Grab some today. Star Sports Tours is the only official fan travel partner of the Dallas Cowboys, offering exclusive game weekend travel packages with pregame sideline access and photo ops with current players, cheerleaders, and cowboy legends. You want to stay at a team hotel, attend the best tailgate party in Texas, tour the star, and talk X's and O's with me, Everson Walls? With Star Sports Tours, you can. Visit CowboysTravel.com to book your travel package today. SeatGeek has your back no matter what kind of Cowboys fan you are. So whether you're a diehard fan or a don't really care fan, a we got them next time fan or we'll never win again fan, a here for the tailgate fan or a first one through the gates fan, SeatGeek not only makes buying and selling tickets easier than ever before, they made just about everything else easier too. So whether you're a here every week fan or haven't been here in years fan, SeatGeek has you covered. Download the SeatGeek app today. SeatGeek, your ticket to great Dallas Cowboys seats. How's Wingstop sound? 
crispy, juicy, classic wings. Made to order, cooked to perfection, and sauced and tossed in those 11 soul-satisfying flavors. Paired with hand-cut seasoned fries, house-made honey mustard, blue cheese, or signature Wingstop Ranch. And, of course, spicy Cajun fried corn. I think you've heard enough. Get your flavor delivered at Wingstop.com. Back to Hanging with the Boys. Welcome back to Hanging with the Boys, where we are presented each and every day by Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. What's up, cooks? Speaking of, is he playing this week? He was a full participant in practice. All right, him let's and, go. Him and Wilson were full. Let's go. Yesterday. We need them. They were hey. fools. Full. 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 full of wings. And no, our second segment each and every day is brought to you by blockchain.com. Block. Thank you, blockchain.com. And we will go to the phones. Chris, who do we have? We got our boy Anthony in Miami. Let's go. Anthony in Miami. What's up, What's up, Anthony? up 305? Okay. Hello? Anthony. 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 He put us on hold. Dude, let's you, put, he's been on come, hold. He's been let's on, go, man. Let's go. Game. Move on. Let's get you guys on hold. I'm here. All right, bro, let's go. Let's go, Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> and, uh, um, yeah, it was one of the things. Um, let's just do it like this, bro. Um, heal up, young man. We need you. You're an integral part of this defense, Trayvon. And what we got to do now is just go ahead and put it on people. I was going to give the Cardinals a break. Y'all know how I like to play and joke, but we got to stop a mud holding these people. We got to send a message that no more playing, send a message, man. It's time. We done lost a key player, man, a part of this great historical possible defense. So this offense is going to have to pick that thing up. This defense is going to have to continue what they're doing, and we're going to beat these boys like 29-6 and keep it rolling. All right. Nice. Thank, Thank you, Anthony. Anthony. Appreciate the call. Appreciate you always. can get to us, Anthony. Yeah. You really do, man. You know, you, you know what's We're on your time, brother. You know what's time. weird, like about this season, like when you look at, like when you look at it, and I know that the defense and special teams has played some parts into this thing, but we make it seem like we don't lead the league in scoring right now. Like oh, we often need to pick it up. Like you, you do know they're averaging. Yeah, but yeah. what about the red zone, Jesse? I mean, you're, come you're, on. You're, you're averaging 35 points a game. Yeah. Like, you know, like but, at but, some point in time, but, like, but. Like we, <laughs> it's like, wait, we, we lead the league in scoring. Like, I just I just feel like we, we, we're not skimming out games. We're not like, oh, boy, who 19-16. Boo, that was a tough one. Mm. No, like, these first two games, we've been feet kicked up, arms behind, you know, hands behind our heads yeah. but in that, the fourth quarter. That's just – that's just – Cowboy fans. That's like, what and you know, as media trained, we've trained right. these people to think. This no, way. speaking <laughs> of media, Bart Scott, you, Ooh. yeah, what's going on with what's that? Going what on? I heard, I heard what's going bit. on with that, Jeff. Elaborate on that. Yeah, Fill so me in. first of all, Bart Scott is a notorious Cowboys hater, right? Weird dude. He's he's, he's a cor- he's a corny dude. Like some dude, you you try to play this tough guy role. Nobody <laughs> fears you with a tough guy role. <laughs> right. you're, you're ultra corny. Right. Super corny, right. on and off the, the camera. <laughs> but they're having this segment today, and of course, Cowboys are in the A block, and they're talking about the injury and how that would affect. And so he goes on this soliloquy, but then he stops in the middle of it and goes, like Stephen A. said, talking about Trayvon Diggs, mm-hmm. if you just wait, something bad will happen. And I'm like, dude, mm-hmm. how do you take a shot? And then what's even worse oh, about man. it is you're supposed to be a part of the player fraternity. Like you're, despite your 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 fandom of who you cheer for or any of that or your dislike or disdain for any team, you're a player. You are a part of the fraternity of players, and I don't care what team. I don't. There's several teams in the ownership that I do not like. I don't. Right. But I am a player. Mm. When another guy goes down with the injury, it's never a time for a joke. It's never a time to take a shot. It's never a time to get on national TV and say something insensitive about a dude who just hurt himself in this type of manner. Mm-hmm. And for you to take a shot like that, Bar Scott, screw you, bro. Like, 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 screw you. Like, for Ooh. real, for real. Like, because it's, 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 we're getting to a point now where you're getting on TV and you're just saying stupid stuff. And, and I come from a place in an era where just you, you, you just weren't allowed to just say certain things and, and get away with it. Like, there's no consequences to certain things. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not looking or causing to cause violence towards Bart Scott, but I, that's where I come from. You just can't, you, you, people now in this area of social media have gotten so comfortable with saying things 
and having no consequences. And that bothers me mm -hmm. because some people need to get punched in the face. Some people need to get the, sm the taste smacked out of their mouth. And this is a moment where Bart Scott needs the, the, the taste smacked out of his mouth for making stupid comments like this about a player who literally just got hurt 24 hours ago. It's unnecessary. It's insensitive. It's stupid. And it's corny. And you look extra corny doing it, my guy. You, you do. You really, really, really do. You're not tough. You're not funny. You're not even good on TV. Right, right. You're not good on TV. Right. Right. My, yeah, no. I, it, wow. it bothers me, man. It bothers me. <clears throat> it, it bothers me. I'm all for the fun. I'm all for the jokes. And we can have jokes about players who aren't playing good. But when someone gets hurt like this and they're lost for a season, this has larger ramifications than just what team you cheer for or don't want to cheer for, you like or you do not want to like. And when it comes from a, a player who played in this league and understand just how much it takes to get to Sunday and you make an insensitive joke like that, you're whack, you're corny, you're foul, and you need the taste smacked out of your mouth. You really do. You really, really do. Okay, we can go uh, back to doing uh, what we do yeah. now. Okay. Uh, where were we, man? Taking calls. Chris, who do we have on the phone? <laughs> where were we? <laughs> we got Antoine in Maryland. Antoine, Antoine what's be careful up, man? what you say now. <laughs> Nah, I ain't gonna say nothing crazy, man. I'm probably about to lose this job, Steven. They ain't like that. You know what I mean? So I don't think you're gonna be on TV for too much longer. But um, how y'all doing today? All right, how you doing? Great, man. I'm doing all right, man. I'm a little sick, man. You know, Trayvon, man. You know, here in Maryland, guy, anyway. But um, to Jesse, man, I know the optimism and everything, man. But as hard as the average Cowboy fan, you know, what I mean, a lot of us don't live in that DFW area, so we've been hearing Steven A. You know, say, oh, what will go, what can go wrong, will go wrong. And, I mean, in a sense, it's kind of been happening. Even something as simple as fumbling the snap. They take the win when Tony Romo did it against Seattle or the dance test, you know. So it's hard to kind of feed into it and stop believing that. Like I said, the media got some train. But um, I'm a little confident in the young and I hold it down, Devon Blaine. Um, I'm, I'm glad John Lewis came back. Uh, so I think you should be all right. I think we should be all right. Just we don't need nothing like that, man. Because it seems like every year somebody on that team go down. We always have a season in the injury. But um, moving forward, man, I hope we just, you know, buckle down and do what we got to do in Arizona, man. We've been having some trouble against them in the past couple of years. So hopefully we can get them. What's, What's your score? Like yeah. That? What's your score? What's my score? My score, I'm gonna, I, I know we try to keep it close, but I'm going to go big this time. I'm going to go, I think, another 40 piece. Mm. Four, about 40-13. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. All right. Well, appreciate the call, Antoine. Good score. I like that score. That's a that's a 40-13. Yeah. I like that. I, I think one of the things he talked about, you know, the mainstream media and the has you kind of train. First, the biggest thing first is you gotta stop. Like you gotta stop listening to them. There's we we live and this is the plus part of social media. We live in a day and time now where you have access to people. Like, we have four shows. On, like, we have ten shows on, on the Dallas Cowboy Network. I don't, how many shows do we have here? I don't know. But it's like seven per day. Yeah. Then, well, we got, we got a lot. It's actually eight, eight, but eight, 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 eight. The content table is full. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, like the, the ability to get content mm -hmm. that's not nationally based. Right? Because Stephen A., he's he, 35,000 view. Like, 35,000 foot view. Like, he, mm -hmm. he's not he, – he don't have connections here. He doesn't have – most of those guys don't have connections here. They don't have people in house. They don't have people every day at the star. Like we here every day. Mm -hmm. We're every day. We're roaming these halls. We we talk to people. We've built relationships. We have friends. We we, you we can, can send a text to somebody on the other side of the building and, and say, and hey, what's answer. up with this? Right. And get an like answer? like yeah. you know, I mean, I mean there's we, we had you know jokingly we had Patrick No C Walker here the other day. Like this is a guy who who has content available. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, if you're Nate, you can actually walk over there and walk into a coach's office and sit down and be I like, I can too. Yo, what's up with this? I can too. Like, yeah. like you, you, you that, that is the luxury of being a former player because yeah. they treat you like family when you're in this building. Mm -hmm. um, but there's so you much. You can go content. get free lunch. Shout out to Everson don't, Walls. Don't, don't, take, don't take it that far. Go ahead, don't take it. But I mean, but there's and not to shout out like, but there's there are a bunch of content creators. Mm -hmm. um, to some of my guys, you know, Skywalker and Vach Lombardi and and Jay Tuck and and there's a, there's a bunch of people who I know every single day are putting in a ton of work who are credible who are on 
boots on the ground here getting you know the best. So if you if you you can you can actually stay away from the FS1s and the ESPNs of the world and lock into these other places and get up to date current mm-hmm. information. You can watch on the filter with Jesse Holly. I mean, there's a there's a plethora of places yeah. where you can go to get up to date information that'll have you less on the edge of your seat and more informed about what's happening on the day to day basis. Yeah, the big the thing about national media is they they yes they're informed. They have their sources. They a lot of times get information before yeah. we get it or. We get it before we just can't say anything about it. Until Richard Sherman was on TV last night talking it, right? about how how Anthony Brown was going to step up and start starting. Like he ain't even on our football team, <laughs> right? He ain't even on our like this is the, this is what I'm saying. Like this he's is been the, on like what two two more teams since us. This, he's not even on our team. Just, he was on the 49ers at the time. Yeah. And yeah. literally last night he's talking about that this is the next guy that's going to step up and be a part of our football team. And like yeah. and, and and be a, right. he ain't even here. Right. You, you know, you you know. That's been my beat for the last, since we started, since we all got together. I, it has it, always amazed me that uh, the one hitter, the one hitter getter, man, I was going to say something ugly, but the one hitter. <laughs> and uh, everybody's looking for that, that one big splash mm-hmm. where you say something and it go viral. Everybody's looking for that, you know, uh, the guy that ran Shannon Sharp off, you know, you know, this guy that just made Jesse highly upset. You don't have to do that. You you don't you, you just report what you see because a lot of times, like Jesse said, they thirty five thousand feet up. Report what you see, but more importantly, what happened to reporting what you know? Mm-hmm. It, it used to be reporters, and I and I take Galloway. He most times they want you to have a reliable source, then back it up with another source. Randy Galloway wanted you to have three, so you could not be refuted. But now it's like, hey, how can I put this together? Jesse said this, Nate said this, right. oh, and Shannon came with this. Now you create a story from there. Mm-hmm. You don't have editors like my man here, Kurt, who's going to break it down and say, hey, we can't use this, we can't use that. You know, these things are unfiltered. Yeah. And now that's what our guys are Hollywood. starting to uh, <laughs> uh, cater to. You know what I'm saying? And even with Jesse's show that's unfiltered, he still has a sense of value in how he does it. Mm-hmm. There's no value now. It's like we got to get these one-hitter quitters, and, and that's that's how it goes. And, it, and that's a shame because if you are a, a big-time Cowboy fan and you rabbit about this thing, why – why are you listening to anything else? Because we have enough uh, objective guys that don't do these shows, and we have enough homers like myself that do these shows that you can figure it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's I think it's just the allure of the national media. And yes. Yeah, they get some stuff because agents will feed them stuff because it yes. makes a bigger splash, right? Yeah. But if you want to know the ins and outs and what's really going on and, like, What's happening in the locker room? What's happened, like you said, Jesse, yeah. in the coach's room? You still have a great relationship with, right. you know, what a lot of the guys. I on mean, like, side. yeah, all, all of them. Like, we, I mean, we can't, a lot of times we can't come out and say, this is what's going on. But if you listen, you find out what's going, going on. on. Yeah. Like, you know, so, the, I mean, the, it's. The, the thing that makes you laugh is they got, they got it now where at a certain point, all employees have to be, have to eat mm-hmm. at a certain time. But at, and so the players can have that free reign over there. But Jesse can walk in, I can walk in. We you just walk around. Hey, how you doing, big fella? You doing? And and you can get this insight that no one else can get. But the but the bottom line is, it's almost boring. Yeah. If Jess come out and say, Hey man, this year I talked to such and such, and this this is what's happening. It, if you don't do it in an exciting way, where if it's not yeah, salacious, yeah, right? What, what that mean? Tell me what the world that mean for real. Help me, bro. Spell you, it. You lost me then for real it. now. I said I said that specifically for you, Kurt. Yeah. Put the definition for Nate so we can educate yeah. him. It, mean, it, it means sexy. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, Lord yeah. Jesus, because sex me to me, sexy is on one word, sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Salacious is a bunch of syllables. Yeah. That's a whole bunch yeah, of syllables. I'm like, what in the I world? Knew, is I knew he going to beat somebody I knew, up? I knew when I said it, Nate yeah. was like, 
hold on, hold on. Uh, <laughs> arousing or appealing to sexual There it is, there it is. Okay, cool, Jay. I like that. <laughs> you know, now, how you pronounce it correctly? Salacious. I'm going home, baby. I'm salacious. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's go, Mr. Shell. You better be ready. Man, Big just, Daddy on his way. I just learned a new word. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> salacious Daddy's on <laughs> his way. <laughs> Those Fruity Pebble cookies are salacious. <laughs> oh, he didn't bring you. Know. They didn't have they any. had him shut like, down today. Like, That's right. He didn't get yeah, on in enough time. Down. I got look. They weren't there. All oh, right. Man. Good stuff, fellas. Let's take our good last stuff, break. Jess. We good might stuff. actually be on time today. Let's take our last break. And, and we'll when we come us. back, and more salacious. phone calls. <laughs> and before we get to phone calls, I, I have an example of exactly what our last caller was talking. Was it Antoine? Was that our yes, last caller? Antoine and yeah. Merlin. What he was talking about. Merlin. And what Cowboy fans, in my opinion, are probably saying about the game last night. When we come back on Hanging with the Boys. I'm Dak Prescott, quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. And they snap it to Prescott, who looks right. It's not there. He escapes left. He'll run for a first down. Just like football, when it comes to crypto, it's important to have a team you can trust. With blockchain.com, I know I'm in good hands. Since 2011, they've been trusted by millions around the world to buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrency. Prescott's going to run this himself. Run it up the middle, and he scores. Whether you're new to crypto or an active trader, they've got you covered. What are you waiting for? Get started at blockchain.com. How's Wingstop sound? Crispy, juicy, classic wings. Made to order, cooked to perfection, and sauced and tossed in those 11 soul-satisfying flavors. Paired with hand-cut seasoned fries, house-made honey mustard, blue cheese, or signature Wingstop ranch. And, of course, spicy Cajun fried corn. I think you've heard enough. Get your flavor delivered at Wingstop.com. SeatGeek has your back no matter what kind of Cowboys fan you are. So whether you're a diehard fan or a don't really care fan, a we got them next time fan or we'll never win again fan, a here for the tailgate fan or a first one through the gates fan, SeatGeek not only makes buying and selling tickets easier than ever before, they made just about everything else easier too. So whether you're a here every week fan or haven't been here in years fan, SeatGeek has you covered. Download the SeatGeek app today. SeatGeek, your ticket to great Dallas Cowboys seats. James right here, your 2022 Dallas Cowboys fan of the year you know how much i love my cowboys and i am thrilled to be talking to you about the 2023 fan of the year award presented by captain morgan we're looking for the ultimate cowboys fan to spice up the game that means you eat sleep and breathe the dallas cowboys if that's you or if you know someone like me then go to dallascowboys.com slash fan of the year and you could win tickets to super bowl 58 and so much more enter today Boys. 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 Welcome to the last segment of the People Show. Hanging with the boys. Each and every last segment is brought to you by Jigsaw, the proud Jigsaw. Danny partner of the Dallas Cowboys. Come out to the star and watch their SUV drive around and take Jesse's parking place. <laughs> yeah, you'll see it. It uh, stands out. It's out there. You ain't going to miss it. <laughs> you know, every time I think of the Jigsaw deal, I think about uh, Trapper MD and Jesse bringing one of his trailers in park. <laughs> Trapper MD. Boy, that's a blast from the past. Yeah. <laughs> just, get him a, just get him a lunch. I'm trying to get him to laugh because the way he just get, killed get, Bert, he oh, went into that way, deep hey, slumber. Chris has some uh, – yeah. uh, you have some support on the text line. Oh, so, Chris, you want to go through a couple of those? tons of support on the text line. We got – let's see. Tony from New Jersey says, go Jesse. You got this, uh, Dan from Philly says, preach Jesse, preach. We got uh, this one guy from the 270 says, Bart Sky's a punk. Amen, Isaiah. <laughs> wow. Amen, Isaiah. See? Wow. See? You can wow. see things with no repercussion. Like, that, it needs to be repercussions put on that. Like, this is, this is the. This, I'm not, just reading what it's But you know what, Chris? I, I, re- I, really, I really like what Chris I'm is not doing. Kidding you. I'm really liking what Chris is doing. But not all Jesse, black guys did you designate like. your boy? To what? be our technician here over here? Come on, what? Kurt. What are you talking about? He's too, <laughs> he's too busy looking up Farrell Fawcett over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, Emilio said, uh, way to bring the fuego on the show, Jesse. Well, the fuego. Love bring the what? The Fire. The fuego. Okay. Yeah. Oh, gee, Fire. y'all keep stop with the that's, vocabulary. That's an old Spanish. Chris Berman, Berman that's term. Just, in fuego. fuego. Remember that back in the, in the what, 90s? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Whatever. All right. All right, let's go back to the phones. It's like the sequel I talked about in the story. Now. Yes, yeah, who we, we got? got? We got Demetrius in the Rio Grande Valley. Okay, Demetrius. my boy, Demetrius, what's up, baby? 
baby. What's going on, fellas? How y'all doing? Good, good, good man. I, I got two quick things. First of all, Bart Scott Tiki Barber should never analyze anything. That's my first thing. Spend it, And then second thing, uh, do do we travel Stephon Gilmore now when we play any of these juggernaut receivers? No, no. And then I think the score is 28 to 6. That's all I got. All right, Thank, you, Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Thank no, you. no, no, no travel. Yeah. No. No travel. If you travel one guy, then you got to travel two, right? Got to travel three. You got to travel yeah. four. <laughs> you got to check the whole. Nope. I'm gonna tell you a little quick story. We did that with Dion when he first got here. See, that that's where the story stops. Yeah, that's the end of the story. Yeah, like the, we did that with Dion. Period. <laughs> like that's the that's the end yeah. of the story. Yeah. That, that is the end of the you story. know how smart the other guys got to be because <laughs> like what if they if Dion traveling and we got the six coverage. Two guys over here, this guy, but Dion's going to travel. All those coverages go out of the window because once they change the formation, all of that changes. Yeah, you're basically playing like yeah. you're, you're now playing 10 on 10. Like, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. Dion's over there, like he's doing his own thing. Like, yes. So you got to, yeah, hey, bro, it, it takes a, you have to be. One thing I think this defense is, is smart mm-hmm. because they have, they have so many interchangeable pieces. You and you have to know so many different positions. So you got to be smart. You got to do your stem, your film study because and if they find that you can't adjust, you out of the rotation. I'm looking at the schedule, right? Of course, Cardinals. They they don't have anybody that I'm fearful of. The Patriots don't have anybody I'm fearful of as far as receivers. The mm-hmm. Niners, like Debo's Debo, right? Like, but I don't think he's like Debo's not. Be careful, Jeff. No, no, no. Be careful, <laughs> be careful Jeff. Mm-hmm. You can't. It's so tough and difficult mm. to to follow Debo. Right, line right. him up in the backfield. They line him up in the sp- like. So it, it's better off if you just play coverage yeah. and hope just keep an eye out for him. You know right, what I'm saying? It's, right. it's tough to play him because he's not lining up okay, okay. outside ninety yeah, yeah. percent of the time. He's strong. Did you yeah. see that play yeah. last night? <laughs> um, Chargers, same thing. Uh, there's nobody on the Chargers that I feel like we have to. You know, we have to star. They got some good players in, their, in, the, in the offense uh, receiver room, but there's no one that I fear. The Rams, same hold on, way. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Brandon Ayer for 49ers. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that because you just don't like the scheme or because uh, it's not the quarterback? It's for not who? For the, char- the Chargers, if the Chargers was here and but I will – I'm talking about a, a receiver that is worthy of star coverage. Oh, okay, okay, That's what okay, I'm talking okay, about. Okay, okay, I don't, okay, there okay, thank a, you, thank like, you. There isn't a receiver that I see – like there isn't right. a there isn't a Tyreek – like now on yeah. Christmas Day, that's different. Right. Mm-hmm. And even still, you don't uh, – Stephon Gilmore ain't fast enough. Nobody's fast enough. Tyreek right. Hill, you coverage – you play him with coverage. You, 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 you got to yeah. scheme him up, You scheme right? – you don't try to go you – know, so I'm just – I'm talking about star, is there a receiver yeah. that we're looking around like a Justin Jefferson? Right. Uh, you know, maybe there's a point in time when, you know, it's the Bills, right? Steph Stephon Diggs, I would have loved to see that matchup. Trayvon Diggs and Stephon mm-hmm. Diggs, we got cheated. We got cheated out of that one. But there is anybody on our schedule, Tyreek Hill, Stephon Diggs, A.J. Brown. Other than that, I don't think there's another receiver that requires. What about Cooper Cup or Brandon Ayoub? No. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Not worthy of, not worthy let, of let, star coverage. Let me coverage. say this, man. Just to add a little something, he's saying this, and I'm going along with you. But some of these guys got got coaches that can make them like that. Yes. Some of these guys got coaches that can. And so I want to see as the season play on, you go through the list again and see if we still feel the same because we're feeling the same way. But I want to see as the season go on. Early in this season, I see what you're doing, but I want to see as the season go on. So you're saying star coverage, <clears throat> that meaning they don't necessarily have to – Really focus in on that guy or what? No, no, no. Or just star covers is is we're talking about like all right, yeah. uh, um, Gil, Gilly, you got him. Okay. No, when he yeah. goes to the hot dog stand, the, you go to the hot dog stand. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. When, that, when that when you break the huddle, he's standing at the huddle looking for said player. You're right. Okay. Yeah. He go rest. You go rest. Yep. You ain't playing special teams this week. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, that that was a good breakdown, but man. When I when I uh, I always put coaches into my equation when I'm when I'm trying to break down something I always say who is the coach whether it's a great minded defensive coordinator or a great uh, offensive coordinator or a great head who is the coach that makes that difference 
we literally yeah. have two of the best. Yes. Right? Like, yes. like if you if you did the if you did if you ranked coaches, if you rank coaches yes. in the National Football League, offensively and defensively, we have two top five yeah. coaches. Yeah. I think Mike McCarthy will mm-hmm. find himself in a situation where he's in the conversation of being a top five offensive minded coach. Yeah. Not a shadow of a doubt that Dan Quinn's not in the conversation of being yeah. a top three, two mm-hmm. defensive coordinator coaches. So wow. could you have two coaches of the year I'm, yeah, well, um, on the same team? I guess. Yeah. Why not? Well, uh, you know, like I, like I was telling Jess, we will just wait and let this play out. Yeah, let's let it play out. Because <laughs> man, it ain't played out, man. This this is going to be a. F- and injuries what? are a part of the game. It so is. this is not going to be the last injury. Every There's going to be injuries. That is one in the NFC recently. Go back and check what they're doing. Teams are running this rock. Teams are being physical. You watch last night game. Teams are running this rock. You watch Philly. They are running the rock. You watch the. They are run. Teams are getting physical. So now. The pass is something that's uh, that's being used as an explosive uh, play. I, I'm I'm liking how how this thing is um is, is and I, and I believe in so much in Dan Quinn. Like, let's not forget, people. We dis- I shouldn't say we discovered, but Micah was discovered as this pass rusher. Yeah. due to who, injury. Who did? Yeah, Dan Quinn. It, it, but who, it, who put him there? Right. Yeah. It, but you know, we had we had we had lost all our defensive ends at one point in time was due to injury. That was like. Because a lot of teams, hey, let's see what this other kid yeah, can do. Yeah, a lot of teams, he might still be playing linebacker. Yeah, he may never have gotten the chance. I just to don't do want to believe that teams would be that dumb. Well, <laughs> I, I think the first year he would have been fully, fully linebacker, and they would have saw him hit that a gap when he was at Penn State, and they were like, "Oh, okay, let's yeah, try." But they would have done the but same I, thing. They would have lined up an a gap again and said, "Hey, you're going to come from depth. You're going to come from the second level, right?" And it, I, I, would he have I ever made it to the edge? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I'm just hoping and praying that. It, well, yes, thank God we will never know. Coach is dumb. Thank God we'll never know. <laughs> no, nah, because sometimes, we got him. sometimes yep. you, yep. things happen yeah. due to injury. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, injury creates opportunity. Miles Austin, injury. Like, guys yeah. happen. Tony Romo, Dak Prescott. That injury, injury, injury. Yeah. Like, it all yeah. it all happens due to due to injury. Yeah. The Jesse Holly story, due to injury. Like, it all happens. It's all about stepping up in the moment. Who can, who can, who who can make the play? to the top salaciously. Jesus. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, before we give our predictions, here's here's how I think Cowboy fans are thinking about if you watched the Giants 49ers game last night, you, you, you're on this high, you're undefeated, you're giving up. How many points are they giving up? Five points Five a game. A game. Mm-hmm. You score, what, the, what are they scoring a game? 35, 35. a game uh, yeah, after yeah. two games. And then you and then you feel good and you're going into the Cardinals game and you're like, we're going to steamroll these jokers. And then you watch that game last night and you're like, you know what? The Giants are not good. Maybe this team's not as good. You know what? The Jets didn't have Aaron Rodgers. Maybe they're not as good as we think they they got to play the 49ers, and the 49ers look real good. I, that's just the way you're programmed. If you're now, look, you got fans of this team that are on the other spectrum that we can be bad, and they're like, "We're going to the Super Bowl." We every year, Nate, the guy on my got, left. Uh, so we got one sitting. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> we got. I give you a realistic <laughs> view for five days a week. Unless we're picking <laughs> yeah, games. Unless we are picking <laughs> games. Don't do that, man. Oh, I ain't even <laughs> never be that crazy. One. But then you have. I'm a, fighting y'all now. You, I'm fighting against y'all at Super Bowl. <laughs> But then, which, is, which is crazy. But then you have, you know, most of our fan base is realistic, and they just they don't want to get too excited because yeah. they they usually get the rug jerked out from under. Really? So that's it. All right, yeah. all right. Our pod pick question first. We'll do that first before we do scores. Who will score if a touchdown is scored? Not on the offensive side of the ball, defense, special teams. Who would be the person to score that touchdown this week? Nate. Uh, not offensive. Anybody that's not on offense. It could wow. be an offensive guy, but it would be special teams. Wow. It could be a return. Start laughing, Jeff. <laughs> kick wow. return. Defensive no, guy. Shannon go, not offensively. Nick goes, not offensively. <laughs> not, right. Right. Just Correct. not Correct. I was going to go special teams and some guys on offense. I got you. Right. I was, yeah. You're right. You're right. It could I, be I can't the, think of nobody, man. Jess, I'm about right. to ride with Deron you. Deron Bland, let's go, baby. Let's go. Deron Bland. Let's go, Deron Bland. Bland. Let's, Bland. Go, Bland. Bland. let's go, baby. Kurt. Uh, Deron Bland, let's go, baby. <laughs> Deron Bland. <laughs> Um, Demarcus Lawrence, why not? D Law, D Law, gonna get Strip a fumble sack. Yeah. You want to play now? Yeah, I got Deron Bland. I, I you got to pick somebody. Nobody else is picking. 
They're already oh, taken. Geez, we'll come back. back. Chris, who you got? Um, I haven't really thought about it. It's your question. question. That's That's what what I'm None of us have thought about it. <laughs> yeah, you got me off guard. Put you on spot. I'm going to go with Turpin. Okay. I'm going to get a special teams touchdown. Okay. Jesse got Bland. You got D-Law, Kurt. I'll go Turpin. Nate's I'll Salacious. Go I'll go with Salacious. Gilmore. Gilmore for Chris. Chris, you want to play Nate? Salacious. Who's that? That sexy person, eh? Who is who's sexy on the team? Uh, who else? J. Ron. Brian Anger. I go with J. Lou. <laughs> I, I go with J. Lou. I J. go with J. Lou. Oh, yeah. I like that. I like it. Yeah. J. Lou, Nate. All right. Yeah. Now, score predictions. Kurt. Uh 33-10. Sweet. Who? Who's winning? The Cowboys. <laughs> All right. Nate. By how many? By, by three. By, by three. three. We're gonna crush by you. Three. By, by three. Chris, who you got? Big win there. I'm gonna do a big win since uh, I already told Shannon this. I love it. It's gonna be four seven. So forty seven to seven. Mm. Okay. Mm. Wow. Let's go. Get it. Four seven. Four, oh, four, four, four seven. digs. Ah, four, four Trayvon. Seven. Yeah. Forty seven to seven. Okay. Yeah. I love it. I like, I like that. that. Love it. Put Jesse it on the T shirt. Who you got, Jess? Uh, I got the Cowboys winning this game. Um this is this is going to be I got 36-13 garbage points by the Cardinals in the, in, in the late in the fourth yeah. quarter. This is going to be a blowout. 36-13 going to be control from from go. I like that score. What was our guy's score 40 to 17? Was that his? For, uh 40 to 13. 13. I'm going to go 40 to 17 cuz something creepy is going to happen and always does in Arizona. There's going to be a, some kind of blunder and that's going to result in points. So I'll go 40 to 17. Real quick, what's the one thing that could get the Cowboys in trouble this game? Since we all think they're going to kill them. What's turnovers the for me. It's always going to be turnovers. 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 Yeah. yeah. They hurt right. themselves. We, we keep it across the board. We say turnovers all over. Uh, um, injury. Injury? Mm, stop, mm-hmm. Jeff. Mm. I'll go turnovers. Ah. I think the turnovers are the only thing that's going to keep them from steamrolling these guys. Mm-hmm. Great show, fellas. Yes. Great hot opinions yeah. on this show. Oh, Thanks for the new word. Great yeah. new words on <laughs> now this show. Now, if I can just Kurt remember how to pronounce it, it correctly. Don't worry about Salacious. it. Salacious. Miss Michelle yeah. already know what's on the way. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Put it in your uh, voice memos and she just knows, play it for me. She knows on the way. Great show, Jesse. Hot sports opinions. Great job. Chris, thanks for keeping us on the air. And thank you to everyone listening. We will be back on Victory Monday. Yes. On Hanging with the Boys. We out. Peace out. This has been a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys? Yeah!